Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to create a Zeppelin logo like you can see right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this Sun Clip Art. So go ahead and open it in Photoshop or similar editing programs such as GIMP. And once you get it, you'll see first off, I want it to be a white logo and it's very yellow. So the first thing you're going to need to do is to create a layer from the background. Now go ahead, you can name it whatever you want, it really doesn't matter. Now once you've done that, you need to delete the background so that we have just the sun with no white background. So go ahead and get your magic wand tool, set the tolerance pretty high, I set mine at 50, and go ahead and click anywhere on this white space. Once you click there, you can go ahead and hit the delete key and it will remove the background. Go ahead and hit Command D and it will deselect. Now we need to change the sun to a yellow, or sorry, from a yellow to a white color. To do that, we'll select the paint bucket tool. We'll make sure we have a white color selected and we'll start painting all of the yellow spots white. Now this may take some time. Once you're done, you can see you have a sun here. I'm going to go ahead and leave this blue because it really adds a nice effect to it. Now what you're going to want to do is change the size of this image. To do that, go to image, image size. The maximum height you can have it set at uh, to use with Zeppelin is 40 pixels. You can have the width um, pretty high, um, but I'm going to go ahead and do 40. And as you can see, because it's locked, it automatically changes the width so it keeps the same width. Now, because I want it to be slightly smaller than the maximum height, I'm going to actually set it at 30. Go ahead and hit OK, and the image will automatically readjust its size. Now what you want to do is save it. Go ahead and hit File, Save As, and save it somewhere on your desktop. You'll need to make a new folder. Go ahead and name this folder Sun. Go ahead and hit Create. Now there you go, there's the Sun. Now you need to name this a very specific name. You're going to call it black at 2x.png. And you can see that PNG is already there. Make sure the format is set at PNG. And go ahead and click save. Now what this is going to do is it's going to create a folder and it will specify to Zeppelin what it wants the uh, which logos to use where. Now, if you have a retina display device, you'll want to make sure it has the at 2x. If not, just have black.png. So I have a retina device, so I will say at 2x. Now what you want to do is go ahead and duplicate this twice. Or excuse me, just once. So go ahead and hit duplicate. Now go ahead and name this duplication etched at 2x. So E T C H E D at 2x.png. And then go ahead and click off of it. Now, the last one we're going to be making is if you notice, if I go into Zeppelin, in Zeppelin they have uh, blue logos so you can actually see it when it's on this white background. So if you look here, all these have that blue logo. So we're going to make that. Go back into here and go ahead and double click on layer zero. This will bring up a layer style menu. Now what you want to do is to hit the gradient overlay. Go ahead and check that. Now select it. We'll want to change our gradient so that it has a nice blue like you can see here in these logos. So what you'll want to do is double click on the gradient. This will open up the gradient editor. We'll want to change the starting color. The color that I like to use is 0038E3. That's the first color I'll use. The second color I'll use is 47A5FF. As you can see, it creates a very nice effect. You can go ahead and edit this um, as much as you want. You can change the opacity a little bit, make it a little bit lighter, a little bit darker. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it like that. Now go ahead and say File, Save As. You want to save it in the same folder you saved the last one. So in that Sun folder, I'm going to save it. But this one, 
set it to PNG. This one I want to save as silver at 2x. So that's what you're going to need to name this one. Go ahead and hit save. Once you've saved it, you'll see you have the three files you need in the Sun folder. Now we need to use a program called Cyberduck to SSH into our device so we can put the files in. So go ahead and open Cyberduck. Um, if you don't know how to use Cyberduck, you'll want to look for another video which will show you how to use it, but it's very simple to use. Um, what you'll want to do is once you SSH into your device, you'll see this menu. Go ahead and go into Library, scroll all the way to the bottom, and you'll see a folder called Zeppelin. Go ahead and open that. Now in here, you can see all of your Zeppelin logos you currently have. This is really nice because you can go ahead and delete ones that you don't want to use. Now what you want to do is go ahead and drag the Sun folder from here into Zeppelin. You want it to have, let me move this window so you can see better, you will want it to have a plus next to it, but it's a little bit difficult I noticed to not get it to go into a folder. So what I like to do is just come down to the, oops, hang on, let me try that again. I accidentally right clicked. Drag it down to the very bottom and you gotta get it, so it's like that. Now there's none selected and I can just drop it and it will go ahead and copy the sun folder right there. So now we have the sun. So let's go ahead and see if it actually worked on a device. On the device, back out of the Zeppelin menu and then go back in and it should have your new logo already made. As you can see, our sun logo is right there. If we go ahead and click on it, it'll put it right up here in this menu bar. Thanks for watching guys. This is how you create custom Zeppelin logos and go ahead and subscribe and look forward to more videos. Thanks for watching guys. See you later.